This episode of Clear Shots is presented by the Impulse Podcast Network. Check out impulsepodcast.com for more info. Welcome to the Clear Shots Podcast with Seth Skinner and Jake Jones. All right, welcome Woo! to the Clear Shots Podcast. 20. 20- 21 we made boys we made it in 2021 (laughs) we stumbled for the past 11 months and we made it to 2021 we tripped we (laughs) fell we fucking we got that road rash (laughs) yeah we were a lot lizards for a while we bled we we it was blood sweat and tears blood sweat and beers (laughs) it was mostly pus for me pus and tears (laughs) fair enough but yeah. so um, I mean I don't know. So it's been what three months, four months? Uh, f- probably four months, four months, over four yeah. months. Our last episode was like November twentieth. That was with old Davy. Yeah, it was with uh, D Money Nick Reed, and uh, we did try. <clears throat> we did try at one point to do one over the internet. <laughs> oh yeah, that didn't work. We, I I haven't even thought about that since that night. I, try I was not so to. frustrated that I. Because if I remember correctly, so here's what happened. I had to work the next morning. I had to get up at like 630 and we were like, well, we'll just start at like seven, seven thirty. We can sneak it in. We can sneak it in an yeah, hour and a half. Do an hour and a half. I'll be in bed by 1030. Yeah. You'd be cuddled up cozy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, visions of sugar plums. You know what I mean? <laughs> that kind of thing with the cap, the little cap. Splenda plums. The, 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 the nightgown, you know? Nightcap. <laughs> Yeah, who no one wears those? No one wears nightcaps. <laughs> Is that the really like the sock that like double D? Yeah, wears? it's like a sock. It's literally a sock. <laughs> Man, he wore that during the day though. How many episodes of that and Eddie took place during the night? It's a good question. Not very many. <laughs> it was mostly day in that. I was gonna say that the, series. It was not whatever very... town they were in. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So what had happened when we were trying to? <laughs> Well, so, uh, I mean, you know, we gave it a shot, and then uh, the camera didn't work. My my webcam did, wasn't working. So, you know, I did some stuff, got the webcam working, and then when the webcam was working, the microphone wasn't working. Yeah. So it was basically one or the other at any time, and then, you know, there were points where I was not hearing you and then not seeing myself. And No, the best was that... <laughs> When we were when we were switching our input devices, we would switch them ahead of time before we connect. Or, so what I'm looking for, like they were already connected, we just didn't switch to them. And Skype would switch to them as soon as we plugged it in. Yeah, but it wouldn't let you select it. Yeah, the funny thing, like Skype so, like, wasn't I even would, showing me them half the time. It's right, fucking retarded. Like, um, and then we were like, we gotta try something. Else. We gotta try Zoom or some shit. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not downloading. Oh, and then that, we though. tried Discord, and we were Discord worked because you're we gonna do voice. It only, worked a little better, but where there was no way to record. You can't record voice conversations. Yeah. Which plus, when you get to the point where you're like, let's just do audio only. You're desperate. You're in desperate yeah. mode because uh, that's audio only over the internet. Yeah, I think if we did audio, like if we yeah, were just that's like, like eh. we might as well just have a phone call and fucking record it. Right, we could have done that. I guess <laughs> it'd be funny. Well, wait, wasn't it like uh, we were we were playing Halo or something? We were like, let's just record us playing Halo and then just upload that. Yeah, <laughs> we could. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> everything is content. Yeah, uh, <laughs> content crow. But I don't know. Here we are. We're doing. Yeah, it. we're back. We're um, working. We're living. We got the schedule figured out. I got the sweet out. lightning. You, how is the sweet lightning? It's pretty sweet. How lightning is it? It's <clears throat> moderately lightning. But I got, I got the blackout berry because um, <laughs> I was uh, I was drinking mimosas and Manhattans mm-hmm. with a couple friends uh, at the bistro. There so you we go. Re- we rescheduled, so we were gonna do it like. At early early afternoon. afternoon, and then I was like, eh, eh no. something came <laughs> it's up. It's like, let's do it at two. So, mm, let's, how about four or four thirty? Mm, six. How about six? <laughs> and you said six originally, and I wasn't expecting to be doing shit today. But you said six originally. I was like, I can't. I gotta go to bed early. You know, I was just gonna get a Garofalo sub and watch TV. 
That's usually what I do on Sunday. Now. <laughs> that's that's what I do. Uh, and this brings me to, uh, and I don't know if they're going to listen to this, but uh, Sean. No one's listening. Uh, wanted yeah. me to mention the sub shop uh, problem you have because uh, oh, he's, he's in your camp and in my camp. He's on the fence. I got 28 likes. I, I know you did. On and Facebook, I got, so people, I got, don't, people don't like it. And I posted one thing, okay, and right. everybody disagreed with me. And all I said was, <laughs> all I said was, I get sub shop at once a week, every week, and I literally don't ha- have any problems. Yeah, but I disagree. <laughs> I disagree that you have no problems because it just absolutely isn't possible. Z- absolutely zero? No. Absolutely zero problems? No. I did actually have a problem the last time I ordered from there okay. where he forgot my coffee that I ordered because I got sub shot for breakfast on Friday. Mm-hmm. Forgot my coffee. But you know what happened? I, I opened the bag up and I was like, oh, damn, he forgot my coffee. Oh, oh shit. And yeah. then I called the store and I was like, hey, he forgot my coffee. And they said, don't worry. He saw it and he's on his way back with it right now. Oh, and then worry. he was already at my door. So there it was like. I'm not going to make a Facebook post about something good they do. It's food service. Yeah, they could have just... I only want to talk about the negative stuff. Right. They could have got it right, though, in the first place, though, you know? (laughs) 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 Instead of, you know, trying to fix the problem before... Wasting my fucking time. They're they're trying to fix the problem before you even notice it. They're just like... They got to be proactive instead of reactive. Yeah. They're like, oh, shit, he's going to realize that we fucked up again. (laughs) We, I gotta hurry up and get that shit back, dude. I, but I can't think of any times where they like. You Not know can. who fucks up the most is DoorDash. How often do you get DoorDash? Depends, yeah, I guess I get it depends DoorDash on, like twice, a, once or twice a month. Yeah, it depends. Well, I get it pretty often. Sometimes I okay, get it me at work. too. I was waiting for what you were gonna say before I. I get it like at least once a week because <laughs> I get it delivered to work sometimes. Right. But also. They it depends on where you get it from, I guess. McDonald's some places have like, well, McDonald's is usually okay. They, they I haven't had them get it wrong. I don't think from McDonald's, but because they probably have a fucking system where the DoorDash order goes through directly to their fucking screens, and they can actually see the order. Whereas like with Garofalo's, I don't know what the fuck they do. Like, did it? Does it send it to them like via page? Like it pages it to <laughs> it's them. It's on then, a ticker tape. It's on yeah, ticker tape. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like sweating, trying to write it down on the fucking little card thing. They, they have to get the decoder. They have to get the decoder thing from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drink yeah. your Ovaltine from Christmas Story. <laughs> like the, the DoorDash orders come in through a decoder. Yeah. Or it looks like one of those lie detectors <laughs> with the little just, needles. But it's just like in Spanish, and they can't read. Spanish. Yeah, or it's in like Sanskrit or some <laughs> bullshit. It goes through Google Translate. Because <laughs> it's, um, it's got to be archaic. There's no way it works properly. Yeah, I got Grubhub for. Uh, I got GJP Grub. Do you have Grubhub on your phone already? They only have GJP in uh, Pie Guys. Yeah, which is fine. So I, I hadn't made a Grubhub account yet because last no. time I tried, we didn't have it in Oswego. They gave me a ten dollar coupon for GJP, mm-hmm. so your boy got a extra large mm. Brooklyn pepperoni and bacon pizza. He did, yes, for fourteen even. Because <laughs> it's usually twenty. Oh it's t- usually twenty two dollars. That's for that. still fucking what you should be paying <laughs> regularly for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> all I'm saying is, is, I love those DoorDash type things. Yeah, they have one called Slice now. It's only for pizzas. Do we have it here? But the only thing that's on it is uh, Canales. What? Yeah. <laughs> so that makes sense. Um, They're not even a pizza place. They have pizza. <laughs> they, okay. Right. All right. Fair. It's like, but you wouldn't like be a, like, you wouldn't be like, <laughs> oh, uh, Bridie Manor is a salad place because they give you salad. Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> It's like Ponderosa is a pizza place because they have the pizza sometimes. Well, it's also a taco place. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. They specialize in both of those things. Um, So, yeah, I am Seth Special Agent Skinner. Oh, was that a whole cold open? That's the cold open. (laughs) (laughs) It's like when I was playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I played for like four hours, and then it goes, it does this pan thing, and it says Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I'm like, what? 
<laughs> that was four hours worth, and now I'm I'm now starting the game. Yeah, now the podcast is. Let's start the episode, guys. All right, <laughs> play the play the theme music now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do we still have the same theme music? Yeah. I thought we got... Uh, we got canceled. <laughs> I thought we got can jammed. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. It might not be in the YouTube version. I don't remember how I do it. It's in the it's in the audio version. Yeah, I was going to say, the audio version has it. So still. stop watching right now and go listen to the audio version. Well, what you got to do is you got to mute the YouTube video and sync it up with the audio version yeah. so you can get the theme music... And then come back. <laughs> come back? Come back to the video version. So, also, I have a new camera. It's pretty cool. Problem is, it's not going to get, uh, it's not going to look that good until we get lighting. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. looks, that's we need actually, soft lighting. We need some lighting at all. Uh, any kind of lighting. This place, like, I don't know. I never have fucking. Well, turn uh, the thing on again. Um, turn space. Bring no, space. That's going to be fucky. Well, it's got lasers. It's going to laser right into the thing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking blind all of our viewers yeah and then it explodes all eight of them <laughs> <laughs> all eight viewers <laughs> they're just waiting for more adult swim tier lists yeah that's really Apparently. like how you get big is adult swim tier list we should do another one of the same tier list and then we'll just rank them all yeah the same. we're just like this is our updated version uh we forgot what we said the first time so we're doing this again we should just do it <laughs> monthly every month we'll just see what our how our opinions change <laughs> Well, Biden is president now, so maybe our opinions on Adult Swim shows will change. Oh, they definitely have, yeah. We should do Tear Jerkers post-DT. So the thing is, like, now, all those Adult Swim shows, anyone, any of them that said bad words, you know what I mean, or they were insulting, those are the lower tier shows, because, no, you know, we can't have that stuff now. So anything with, like, rape jokes? Yeah, yeah, no rape gay jokes. Gay slurs. No gays. The R word, the... Uh, yeah, no R words. Um, what else is really, really bad for people nowadays? Uh, the C word. Oh, everything. That's right. <laughs> C word. You can't say that anymore, either. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait until, like, Pop-Tarts start getting canceled and shit. Like, just random fucking pantry items. <laughs> wait, who got canceled this week? Mm, Chris yeah, Delia's I saw back. something. Somebody got canceled. I don't remember who it was. I'll Google it. <clears throat> who got canceled? Uh, Dalia did come back. Put he put out a video. It was like ten minutes long, talking about like the whole s fucking situation and like what he was his like to sum it up. He was basically saying like he fucked girls after every show, and yeah. like he basically became like a sex addict. <laughs> yeah, and that's not cool. Yeah, and he. I mean, I don't know. It seemed somewhat genuine. I, I think he like probably has realized his fucking not. You're not supposed to do that. Not good for you and stuff. I mean, he was cheating on his current girlfriend or wife or whatever that he has a kid with. And it's like, yeah, it's fucked up. <clears throat> but from like everything we've talked about it for, like from all the stuff we saw, like he, there's no proof that he did anything with anyone underage. He was basically assuming that they were above 18 anyway, because they went to his show and most of those venues, you had to be 18 plus to get in. Or 21. So, like, I don't know. It's a weird thing. And I, I always think that, like, that's kind of what happens with any celebrity. Like, if you are big and you're a decent-looking guy, like, you're going to get chicks DMing you during your shows or after your shows or whatever. Any Anywhere you go. Yeah. Like, I, like, NBA players probably do that fucking like crazy. Well, there was the one NBA player for the Rockets, Daniel House, that which was trying to sneak in one of the COVID nurses that was staying at the hotel and do his hotel room. But this is the thing. I don't think you should be able to be canceled just for committing adultery. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily. You you shouldn't lose your. You shouldn't be like ability to work. <laughs> I mean, you're a piece of shit, but you shouldn't get fired. Right. I don't know. I think this idea that celebrities have to be um, good role models is, I, I I mean, I'm in the camp of, yeah, I feel like if you have a platform like that and you have a, you have an influence as much as you do, you should try to try be a to be a person. role model. Yeah. Of some sort. But also 
it kind of makes people not want to be fucking celebrities because you're under a microscope at all times. Yeah. And it's it's just uh, it's too easy for people to, to slip up. So That's why we that? like only having eight viewers. You know what I mean? Because if we only have eight people watching, chances are we're not getting we're not getting canceled for saying retard. <laughs> we you know do say I mean? retard. We say retard. We <sighs> might get YouTube might get us though. Yeah. Um, they might get us for it. But yeah, I don't know. I just wish that um, I want ten minute podcast to come back like it was supposed to. It was supposed to. I mean, even Callan's coming back. He's been on Fighter and the Kid a couple of times as a guest. So that's wait. Weird. So who hosts it with Shab? Well, now Shab is doing it with like two random guys, and I don't fucking know who they are actually. I haven't watched it since Callan. I was say, I don't even listen to podcast. I listen to Come Town. That's all about it. I don't yeah. even listen to it. I just, it's on. <laughs> I just, you know, white noise it. Yeah. That's the move. <clears throat> hmm. But it's, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know if there's an end to any of this stuff either. Like, I don't know. And it's also, it seems like it's the fucking, like, vocal minority that's saying it, too. Like, most people are probably not that concerned with half of this shit like that people are getting canceled for i think it i think you can attribute that to most things right so like you're just getting like most people don't care about most things oh yeah that's probably true they just want to fucking eat some popcorn you know eat some chips you know what i mean watch some some netflix netflix and chill that's the thing is just i feel like if we had What's the word I'm looking for? Right. Mandatory chips. Mandatory chips, yes. Like like they um, enact a universal they, basic they chips. Enact, yeah, they <laughs> enact a federal law that for a half hour each day paid, you, 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 get, get, the you chips get a bag of chips yeah. and you get to just chill out for a half an hour. The government gives you chips. Whatever chips you want. Where are they getting this money? Uh, <laughs> from the bombs. They they drop one less bomb a year and it can okay. pay for the whole program. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably true, yeah. Like, yeah, you know what? Like, let's just pull back on bombs and, like... <laughs> like, they're like, okay, you know that B2 bomber that we have 800 of? Let's not make this one, and then we can get UBC, Universal yeah. Basic Chips. UBC and P, <laughs> Universal Basic Chips and Pretzels. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good idea. I mean, it would end starvation in a lot, uh, of, in a lot okay. of Okay, this is the thing, too. Is but do you, have to be, do you have to be, like, a, a you have to be a, an actual... A U.S. citizen, I would imagine, right? You if, can't be uh, illegal. No, no, no. You can't be illegally like, getting chips. Though. It's like <laughs> illegal immigrants. Uh, sorry, undocumented Americans. Right. Get a uh, great value brand or the okay, equivalent. So they get like the knockoff the generic brand. brand. Sometimes the, the generic brand's better though. So like, I don't know. We'll and, send it to like, we'll send it to people's also, mailbox. They get the little form. They check the box that they want. You know, and then they send here's it. Here's the other thing though: is if you get a local brand instead of like. Fritos or Lay's, you get two bags. So if you want like Utz brand, you can get two bags of chips, mm-hmm. and they have the best barbecue chips. Ever. They have to be made in the USA. No, in your time you can't zone. Can't do it. Has to be ones. your time zone. Okay. Okay. It has to be made in your time zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so we can only get we can only buy chips from like so like there's in- <laughs> there's like a zoning law. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. For <laughs> chips, you, you have to just line up. Yeah. Uh, Utz chips are great. They're from PA, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. But Lay's chips are good. Pringles, you get half a bag. They don't come in bags, though. They come in two. You get half a tin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my my Dude, universal she, basic Cheez- tube is here. <laughs> Cheez Its? Cheez Its count. They're snacks. They're crackers, sort of. You get cheese. You If you're in college, you only get Cheez Its mm-hmm. <laughs> or Cheese Nips. Which are also good. We should do way. it by age group. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, we'll get to the old people <laughs> snacks later. <laughs> yeah, they got Necco wafers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. <laughs> <And then> it, <laughs> UBC, bro. UBC we got to pitch that. Pretzels. <laughs> Don't forget about pretzels. Pitch it to Biden. Those pretzel combos with the peanut butter in them. Fuck. Pretzel ones with peanut butter. I don't know. I feel like pre- like I don't know. Combos you, combos have they're tough because like you eat two or three of them and then it's hard to swallow because they're really like dry and they are super dry. The salt the salt really kills you, bro. Plus, like if it's peanut butter or whatever they stuff that shit with, 
It's, can I have uh, one of those cookies? Yeah, you can have as many of those cookies as you want because <laughs> I'm not going to eat those. Why are they bad? I just don't. I don't know. I actually don't. Um, I don't really eat sweets. <laughs> like to be honest, <laughs> you ate a lot of chicken on the way here, dude. <laughs> that I had to get a crispy kernel just because, and because that was free. Because I filled out a survey, get to get a free crispy kernel, right? So I go, and it's fucking like loaded. It was two whole fucking. It was bigger than chicken patties. Like there were two big pieces of chicken stacked on top of each other, in a bun. And I was like, "This is money's worth, though," because I didn't pay for it. They're like five ninety nine regularly, though. It's a lot of money for a sand a chicken sandwich. Yeah. I would expect it to be like that every time if you pay that much. That's the problem with KFC, dude. They're just expensive. Dude, I got a, like a month or two ago, I got a five-piece chicken tender box, and I got mac and cheese and mash and gravy. That, that was it. That's the only option is the chicken tender box because it's got the amount of breading that's... The breading to chicken ratio is perfect on that. If you get the fucking breasts or drumsticks or whatever, it's too much chicken, not enough, not enough bread. Mm-hmm. And the popcorn chicken's too much bread, not mm-hmm. enough chicken. So you get the tenders box, you dip it in the gravy, the mashed potatoes and gravy, and then you shit. <laughs> you either you either <laughs> shit or you, or you have a severe stomach ache for a reasonable period of time. But um, I have so I have a bunch of different topics that I wrote down. That's great. I over the any. like four months I that text we didn't my do dad anything. before I forget. What's he gonna say? He's gonna say hi. Really? Mm-hmm. Right on. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to dad. Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay. So we got a whole bunch of things. There's been a lot of shit actually that uh has gone down that we haven't talked about. But first, let's get to the vaccine. You got the vaccine. <laughs> I did. I got the Moderna one. Did you get wicked sick? Bad. Um. Yeah. You did. I really did. Yeah. No, I was out of work for like four days or three days. Yeah. Um, it was fucked. It was, um, but I was, I was expected to like, yeah, they, 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 they tell, tell you the you second, they well, tell the Moderna, you, like, does, do they both take, do they both have two, uh, shots? Yeah. They Moderna tell you the second one is the one that's bad. Yeah. What is the first one then? Not as bad. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> that's a good point, actually. Next topic. <laughs> We got to the bottom of that. First one's not as bad. Second one's as bad. Second one's bad. Uh, what, the first one, the microchip one then? <laughs> the, the microchip goes in on the first one. We're done. No, next topic. We're done. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. No, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I had like flu-like symptoms, but it was mostly like really bad body aches and chills. Um, yeah, were you hot and cold all at the same time? I was weird, dude. I fucking hate that when you get fucking. Yeah, that's pretty much how I felt. <sighs> like I was because uh, you're like sweating your ass off, and you're like, I'm freezing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <You're>, yeah. The- <laughs> and then like if I got out of my bed and like because I wanted to like try and take a hot bath, but even just like taking a, my sweatshirt off, I felt like I was like yeah dipped in a cold yeah shot like dipped in a cold dipped under in the a cold ice. shower. <laughs> <laughs> Under the ice. Can you get dipped in a shower? I don't know if that works. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it sucked. Uh, but I feel great since then. <laughs> so um, it bounced back strong, you know? Yeah. Stronger well, that's the thing. That's the weird thing is that, like, so I got the shot a Thursday afternoon. I worked all day Friday, extremely sick. I couldn't get sent home because we had a lot of other people that weren't there because they <laughs> were like, sick. this is a real problem, but you got to come in. <laughs> yeah. And then Saturday I called in, and I had had Sunday off for the McGregor fight, and I... So have you gotten COVID since then? No. 
So then it works. Yeah. That's it. Pretty much, yeah. Problem solved. Moderna, uh, I'll take the Moderna one. But Pfizer, you're going to get the Moderna one? I'm not getting either. Shit. I don't want to get microchip by China. Unreal. No, I don't know. I don't, I, my immune system's always been pretty good. I don't fucking usually get sick. I usually do get sick around springtime, like when allergy season kind of happens. Uh, I kind of my nose is kind of like stuffy right now. Actually, Burn that's boat. usually what it is, though. It's like pretty much every year, and it's just you get a little bit of a stuffed up like feeling. I don't ever get like sick, sick though. Really, pretty. You know, you got to take them multivitamins. You know. No, oh, I don't do that. Um, I just drink this stuff. It's mostly sugar, though. But it's like, fuck, this shit's been around for like almost a year. And it's like, if I was going to, I should have gotten it by now. If it was as fucking crazy contagious as like people, it was made out to be. And it's like, yeah, you wear a mask. But like most people who wear masks are wearing those fucking bandanas that don't do anything or like fucking cloth masks. They're not wearing a 95 mask or a fucking medical mask in any way. Like the people dude, the bandanas just get me because it's like you can breathe right through the fucking thing. So like if you can breathe through it that easy when you sneeze, the shit's going all over the place still like it's not really going to protect you from that much. So the. I, they're saying like, "Hey, wear two masks," <laughs> and it's like, "Well, it kind of actually makes sense. It, it does make a lot of sense because you would wear a medical mask underneath a cloth one. It's like obviously the more layers there are, the more it's going to block shit. That's the idea of it. But most people just wear it to go into stores without getting fucking yelled at. And yeah, dude, the fucking funniest ones are the fucking like people with the, the glass like shield thing on the, on their fucking, uh, what do they think that's doing though? A buddy of mine, a buddy of mine sent me a picture. Uh, there was a guy at big M that was wearing a welding mask. <laughs> he sent me a Snapchat. Dude, I've seen people with full blown gas masks. Yeah. Like it's a fucking like a plague. Yeah. Like there's or green, like, mustard gas. like fog everywhere yeah, or some shit. I'm going to have another cookie. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I mean, you almost have to. It. <laughs> They're all right. They're pretty good. <laughs> what are they? Like pumpkin or some bullshit? Red velvet with uh, cottage cheese. Why would the, uh, Velvet? Why would you want the taste of velvet? That's disgusting. What's the next What's the next topic? I don't want to talk about COVID. It oh, sucks. cyberpunk, dude. So cyberpunk came out. Oh, yeah. Did you get it? I got it. Played the whole game. I liked it, actually. You got it for Series X? Uh-huh. I, I really did like it. There was, like, a couple glitches, like, some bugs that were pretty bullshit. And, like, there's the physics are so fucked up. But, like, the game, like, the story and everything, like, the world and, like, the immersion of the world and stuff is really good. And, like, God, like, the art style and everything is so sweet. It's just a shame that, like, it wasn't, it didn't come out the way it was supposed to. And, like, you know, it's fucked up because they've been trying to patch it and fix it. And then they got hacked. They they fucking had, like, all their fucking source code leaked or some bullshit. Mm -hmm. So now there's that breach that they're trying to fix before they can put out another patch. And it sucks because, like, that was... They put out Witcher 3 and then they went way up here because, like, Witcher 3 was great and people loved it. And it was, like, the expectations for this game were really high. So... I think anytime there's high expectations for anything, though, you you're gonna end up with and they disappointment. Had Cyberpunk in like 2007 or mm -hmm. some shit. That's a thing. And they had already been in good graces with just The Witcher one and two, but then The Witcher three was nuts. Mm -hmm. And it's like the, the the game. It's a shame because the game itself is good, and I don't know. It was just a disaster for them, really. But they knew. They knew it wasn't ready. Like, there's no way they didn't. Right. <clears throat> but they didn't want to push it back. And, like, and it's another thing where you're, like, impacted by the fucking, the, the you know, COVID situation. So they can't work in the fucking offices. They're working from home, probably. So that puts dampers on things, too. So it worries me, too, when Halo Infinite's coming out in the fall. <sighs> And you go, okay, well, they're also working from home. Like, what are they really able to do in that, yeah. uh, like, environment? environment? So, like, I just hope that doesn't happen with them. Because the hype for that is huge, too. And it's been revealed for a long time. I want Halo Infinite to be so good so badly. I just really, 
when they said it's going to be one game and they're just going to keep adding to the story, I'm like, okay, at what point are you guys just trying to be like Destiny, though? Yeah. It's supposed to be open world, like... Um, and they put out new screenshots this week um, that look really, really good. Um, but, like, I don't know. They want this art style to go back to, like, classic Halo, more simple, which is great. Because I thought, like, a lot of the armor sets were, like, just way over. Especially fucking, when you get to, like, Halo 4. Yeah, they're, like, just too um, abstract <clears throat> and, like, uh, loud, I guess. Yeah. They're just too fucking much. Yeah. Like, you want... I want... Because, like, with Halo 3, I felt like they nailed it perfectly. With the armor and helmets? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Like, it was it was simple. It was, like... It was clean. Like, it was... Uh, it just looked sharp. Like, it really just looked great. Especially for a 360 game. And, like, an early 360 game, too. It wasn't, like, towards the it end came of out the cycle. Like 07 or 08. 07. I mean, you still got Halo Reach and Halo 4 on the 360. And ODST... Like Halo Three looked good when it came out, and it still looks good, honestly. If you if you play it now, and that was 06. So if they remaster that, it's like well, when did Three Hundred come out? I think Three Hundred and Halo Three came out the same year. Yeah, it was around. I think it was 07. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that should what? be on your uh, like fast. Searches. It should be on my my home. It should screen. be on your home screen. What yeah. Year did Three Hundred come out? <laughs> Just like a shortcut to your browser. June 2017. <clears throat> Halo oh. 3. 17, that's not right. September 2007. Oh, yeah. I meant... So, yeah, they... 300. Halo 3 exists in a post-300 world. Hmm. Halo 3 was uh, three and a half months P300. Hmm. That does make sense. I can see it. I can see the influence, you know. Spartans. There it is. Oh, shit. They, <laughs> they stole it. They fucking stole it, dude. Oh, my God. I didn't even... I never even thought about that. Michigan State better watch out. It's funny that they didn't steal it in Halo 2, though. Or Halo 1. They didn't really steal it. They only stole it in Halo 3. Well, yeah, but like... Uh, <laughs> they didn't P call them Spartans until Halo 3. Well, they P retroactively did P that. P-300, Zack Snyder and... Uh, the movie 300 didn't own the right to the word spark. P300 right. stands for both pre-300 and post-300, by the way. Right. Okay. <laughs> so just any time ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that actually means. <laughs> the, only time, the only time that is not the case D300. is right when 300 came out. D300. During 300. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are only two time periods ever. <laughs> so that so was another one I wanted to talk about that because it was interesting yeah I want to play it really badly uh, I just don't want to play it right now on a last gen console and a yeah, computer would... that can't run it very well oh my god computers were like having serious issues even yeah. like with high end computers they yeah. were like crashing and shit so like I'm just going to wait till I get a next gen system and I mean not a next I'm going to wait till I get a series X and then play it because they're making a series X version so I'll just get that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. The upgrade version or whatever it is. Uh, smart delivery or whatever the fuck they call it. The MLB The Show 21 uh, open beta or whatever. Mm. It's not open. It's actually closed. I think it's a beta. Maybe it's alpha or something like that. But it's a test that they're doing. Are you in it? Is it awesome? Yeah, it's really cool. It, it runs so smooth and shit. That fucking, you just want, I feel like every sports game needs to be solid 60 frames now. Like, I noticed a difference with Madden, too, with, on this. Like, it's just smoother. It's like, you don't realize the jump between 30 and 60 until you, like, see it for yourself. And then you're like, whoa. Like, 60 is just way more play. You All of a sudden, 30 frames is, like, unplayable. Right. <laughs> and that sounds like stuck up, but you're just like, you get used to that. 60 frames should just be this industry standard now. Like I was watching Dirt 5 gameplay the other day, and it that shit runs 60 frames even in split screen with like three guys playing on the Dirt same Dirt 5 is on a Game Pass. I just downloaded it. Yeah, I, I played it for a second. Like a second. It was Dirt 5. Yeah, it's just a 
a rally game. It's like I, I would just play Forza Horizon or something, realistically, because that's also on there. I've been playing a lot of GTA Online, almost exclusively. It's really good too. It's but I started playing that on PC, and it's sixty frames on there. And then I right, come back here, and I'm like. It. It's another one where, like, the thing about GTA is, like, it's always, like, they keep adding shit. They never stop supporting it. And there's, like, always kind of something to do. There's always events. The problem is, like, the matchmaking always took a long time for me. It still is awful. And for a game that's as popular and as big as it is, they shouldn't be having those issues still. Yeah, like, they definitely have population. It's been, like, fucking seven years. But there's so many different next-gen. missions, too, so it's, like, you gotta be matched up with people that are also doing that same... Well, it's it's that, and it's also just, like, when you leave a mission and you're going back to free mode and you're sitting there waiting. It's trying waiting. to join some server, and it's, and like... If you, like, if you and I were in a lobby together and we played a mission and then left it, it would you have up. to find us yeah and sometimes if it, can't, it splits yeah. you up or it just crashes your system yeah. like i don't i don't understand why it crashes so often yeah i don't remember what the limit is for a number of players in the lobbies 32 but it's it's a good chunk of people yeah but i mean you look at other games and you're or like 30 it's 32, I think. 32 or 36. But, like, I don't know. You get Warzone and PUBG and shit like that, and they're like, they have 100 players. Right. So the connection shouldn't be much of an issue for I you. I think it's just how much is going on. The in infrastructure GTA, and, yeah. Uh, like, in the. Because it has to keep the whole map loaded. Or and at least. Live too, it has like, to keep whatever people are visibly seeing loaded. Yeah. So anything that's in anyone's draw distance, basically, is loaded texture wise. So that actually is a lot of computing power, if you think about it. Yeah. It's just a fucking... It's a great game, still. Like, it's there's nothing like... I don't... I never found, like, anything I didn't really appreciate about that game. I've played the story, like, three times on different platforms. Yeah. I, I beat it once on... Like, yeah, three It came out times. on the 360. Then yeah, I, got a I PS3, played it again on the PS4, Xbox. PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Yeah. Yeah, because I played it on 360. I bought it again when it came out for the uh, Xbox One. Played it through all the way through it. It's just such a good. Story. And then I did it also on Steam. And then it doesn't get old, even though you know how every how everything happens. Yeah, it's like they did a great job. Like as far as uh, it doesn't. There's no downtime, really. Like, you're always... Anytime you're in any sort of... If, even if you're driving across the fucking map, there's dialogue that advances the story. And, I don't know. It's one of those things, like, you're kind of missing that. Like, there's not a lot of big single-player games that do that kind of stuff now. Where it's alive. That yeah. was a complaint that people had for Cyberpunk, yeah. was that the world didn't feel alive. Yeah. Yeah, That it has a lot to do with AI, too. Yeah. What was uh, the next one after Cyberplunk? Um, Philip Rivers, I think. Oh, he retired. Um, so he retired, yeah. And like, I was listening to the Pat McAfee Did show, and they that? were talking about like uh, this That's debate true. on whether he should be in the Hall of Fame or not. Absolutely not. And well, it's it's tough because like, it's hard to be a quarterback for that long and. Even to just stay with the same team, too, for that long. To perform at the, a level to the point where, like, they're like, we're going to stick with this guy for as long as they did. He didn't win a ring. So. He was never an all-pro, either. Yeah. It's tough, though, because, like, you look at Philip Rivers, like, his career, and you're like, damn, like, he probably, he probably does deserve it. And Nope. But it's like... McNabb doesn't deserve it. They and were basically saying like they need another a separate <laughs> wing. In the if you're fo- going to put Philip Rivers in, you have to put Donovan McNabb in. Well, but you're not putting Donovan McNabb in the Hall of Fame. I don't know how long did McNabb play for the Eagles though. How many seasons did Rivers have with the? But with this the, the thing is that the the nine or ten years that McNabb had with the Eagles were way better than what Phillips Rivers could do with the Chargers. He never even went to a Super Bowl. I don't even think he went. He went to one conference championship game. Led, 
the a 14 and 2 one seed mm-hmm. and just crashed and burned. And it's because, unfortunately, he was really good. Probably better than Romo if you go by consistency. He's above average quarterback. It's not a But I don't think he uh was as good as his peers. There's probably a Philip Rivers from like the 80s that yeah, real real fivers. <laughs> Felipe Rios. He played for the Oakland Chargers. <laughs> I that's I, I don't Fivers, I don't like they, I, his nickname is Buckaroo. You know what I mean? Buckaroo Johnson. <laughs> this is my thing. The NFL, the way the Hall of Fame works is I don't want it to be like the NBA because the NBA is Hall of or not the NBA, the Basketball Hall of Fame because it's all basketball is a shit show. <laughs> like you could be an all star for like yeah. There's seven like a years. standard that you you have to hold for the NFL and right. for baseball too. Baseball's Hall of Fame is perfect. It's the elite of elite. Because there's even people in the football Hall of Fame that are like, eh, should they really be there? And don't say Troy Aikman. So I'm not gonna get into that. What about Troy Aikman? No, I, he. I would say he probably should. Yeah, but the thing is, and it's another thing, like. I don't know, Troy Aikman, you know, Philip Rivers. If Phil, this is the thing is if this is, and this is the reason why Troy Aikman is in the Hall of Fame is because he won three Super Bowls. He did win three Super Bowls. That's it. If, if it's tough, like who, he, who did Philip Rivers have around him? Like LT, Antonio Gates. Yeah, at uh, one point, Vincent Jackson, uh, Sean Merriman. In different eras, though. Philip they Rivers? All, they weren't all on the same team. Yeah, they were. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, that was well. It was only like two seasons or whatever. With Phil, Philip Rivers, with that LT, full roster, Antonio Gates, uh, who was their wide receiver, Vincent Jackson, yeah, and Sean Merriman. That was yeah, the year they went fourteen like, and two. Yeah, that would have been two thousand and six or seven. Yeah, but LT was like literally the best player in football at that time. But the dude, and you, how do the you, problem with that is like with any team, like you can't afford all these guys, so you can't uh, it was keep all, it together. Sean Merriman had injuries. Antonio Gates got old. Lorenzo Neal got old. LT and went LT to went to the fucking, Jets, right? I think he did go to the Jets. <laughs> That's tough. Don't do that. He had Michael Turner. Michael Turner on the Chargers before he went to the Falcons. He had Darren Sproles, Sproles. before he went to the Saints. I mean, those teams were really, really good. And Marty Schottenheimer, may you rest in peace, uh, the Hall of Fame coach that just passed away, was the coach of that team. But this is the thing: is they he's have a, num- a he's they a strong arm quarterback. Like he's basically a force the ball in sort of yeah. guy. But he's like a uh, that year they had the number one offense, the number one defense. They had the thirty second special teams. There's punting and kicking and field goaling. Yeah, was trash. It's like it's 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 weird for me because like I would like to see him in there, but like I also realize that if he gets in, it lowers the bar for the Hall of Fame. It, it lowers the bar extremely. Yeah. I mean, because let's face it, Eli Manning is going to be in the Hall of Fame, and uh, that's going to lower the bar. Yeah, that's definitely going to lower the bar. I don't think he should. He, but he's got a ring, so you. He's got two MVPs for the Super Bowl. But that's the thing is Philip or not Philip Rivers. Uh, Phil Sims has two rings, and he's not in. So maybe they won't put Eli in. But they might. Phil Sims would probably get in though eventually. I don't think so. He might. I mean, just from his commentary too, and all that shit. Like a lot of times down the line, they just end up getting. He in might there. get in as a commentator, like yeah. Romo. Because yeah. Romo won't go in as a player. Maybe. But uh, yeah, yeah, Romo it, might. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You might not even see him in there. No, God, no, <clears throat> no. They can't put Romo in the Hall of Fame. And I'm a Cowboys fan. He had like four or five Pro Bowls, one or two All Pros, and that's it. Right. He was like the opposite of Rivers, where Rivers had all these counting stats and not a lot of accolades. Where well, it's Romo, also Rivers' longevity too. Like you got, he's played for so many years that like, yeah, his stats look fucking off the charts. Right. But I think the but he fact was consistent. That he, too, that's though. the thing is the fact that he played as long as he did and still was pretty good. That, that whole time. that's really the he's only like case he's I like the see. Frank Gore of quarterbacks. But the thing is, is being a quarterback that lasts long that doesn't win anything is not as good as being a running back that lasts long that doesn't win anything. Yeah, I just look at the value for that team. So like they they've had a the quarterback position is the hardest to fill, and like you want that you have to have a consistent quarterback, and to be that for as long as he was. That that's the only case I could see for it. Put put him in the Hall of 
<clears throat> close. Put them in the, yeah, the put them in the hall. Put them in the hall next to the hall. They have of like fame. a next door hall. Yeah, of fame. that's what we'll call They're it. Like, the hall next to the hall of fame, and it's just a corridor from. It's the corridor from PT. Yeah. <laughs> And it's just Philip Rivers and Donovan McNabb and Tony, Tony Romo, Romo. <laughs> just da, 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 all the way down. <laughs> and then at the very end, we'll have the Hall of What Ifs, and we'll put Jamal Charles right there. Yeah, because <laughs> that's what the more interesting conversation is: is what players, if they didn't flame out with injuries, would be in the Hall of Fame? Bo Jackson, yeah, obviously, was... get that one out of the way. Yeah, Derrick Rose. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> that was my problem. Like I was a Bulls fan, and like I kind of like I, I wanted Derrick Rose to be the next fucking MJ, bro. Like yeah. that was the plan too. And like it just he kept getting injured consistently. Just he was bad. So explosive. Yeah, he was like uh, Segura. Yeah, the, the star <laughs> that, the star that burns twice as bright last half as long. Air Segura, bro. <clears throat> <laughs> Did but you I, see the 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 Nike logo that or like I think it's the Jordan logo. They did the Jordan logo with uh Tom Segura's silhouette instead. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so amazing. Good. <laughs> what was um, all those fucking memes that came out of that were great. Have you been watching basketball at all this year? No. You don't really no, watch I don't, basketball. I don't know, really. I'm not interested in like the NBA really. I don't know. I only I follow it. I like it. But I like 2K way more. That's the whole thing. What's the next uh, subject? Philip um, Rivers, not in the hall. You're next door. Next. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing. It's like, and two, like, I am not happy that Frank Orr is going to make it either because that's another case of, okay, he played for like 16, 17 years. Okay, he played in the most brutal position for that long. Okay, he was pretty decent, but... Are you just going to put people in the Hall of Fame because they were pretty decent for a long time? Right. Now, you should, I guess, for Frank Gore because he's going to be like third all-time or fourth all-time rushing. But at the same time, it's like, what did he do? He just played for a long time. (sighs) But he like... He was so... He was built, bro. That dude was bodied up. So you got to at least have a statue of him, you know? (laughs) <laughs> I mean, Nick Foles had a statue in Philadelphia, so that I guess was, let's just give everybody a statue. Yeah, that was what Pat McAfee was saying. He was like, "If when I go to the Hall of Fame, I just want a statue of, of Frank Gore because he's like the prototypical like looking running back. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. Like he's like that scary dude that's going to run you over and you're yeah. going to get injured because you tried to tackle him. And that's just, you're gonna he's going to be a problem for you one way or another. He's like the power running back that like you you dream of. It's like you don't see a lot of power guys anymore like that. Like, fin- like, dude, there's not that many guys with, like, huge built, like, I mean, Derrick Henry, kind of. He's a pretty good he's power not back, fair, but though, he's also he's like 6'4". Yeah, and he's shifty. He's fast. You don't see guys with giant fucking, like, like a Sean Green or, like, uh, wow, guys with, like, giant uh, fucking quads. Like Thomas Davis, Maurice yeah. Jones-Drew. MJD yep. was yeah, the last yeah, like, was awesome. ridiculous one. Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch was a power guy, but he wasn't like a thick guy. Yeah, he was just strong. Like I'm thinking, dudes with giant legs that can just run people over. Uh, like you an don't, Earl like, Campbell kind of guy. Yeah, like Marion yeah. Barber. Because like Fucking, Aaron Jones, uh, like Aaron no, Jones is um, like one of those guys. Eddie, that's, Eddie Lacy, dude. Eddie Lacy, yeah, he was just huge. Like, but he was too big. Really, that was yeah. part of the problem. He had no like. Like separation speed, he'd get to like the third level of the defense, and then they'd just turn around and run five yards and catch him. Yeah. <laughs> but like it's all guys that are shifty, quick guys that can catch out of the backfield now, because that's they've become part of the passing game. And you've lost like fullbacks basically don't exist anymore. So no, and the teams that have fullbacks use them as receivers. <laughs> yeah, or like a a big body tight end blocker guy. Or just like a goal line guy. Sometimes you you just hand it to him as like a fake. And sometimes you don't even see fullback. Sometimes you see a nose tackle come in and fucking yeah, or that. like a, t- a tight end or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. like yeah. a lead blocker. Um. Yeah, I don't know. But that's more or less the way that they're moving with running backs. 
it's like quick quick changes like quick uh directional changes and stuff like that but it's kind of like the natural progression of the game too it's like kind of the way it evolves i find it interesting that um football well all sports change Basketball has yeah. changed the most because of the three point. It t- it changes the the most more con- most consistently too. Like it's it con- it's it very quick. More. It's a copycats league. Yeah, I think football c- still keeps the tradition of. Um, I don't know what I was going to go tackling. With yeah, I don't know where I was. They going always with that. tackle. I, don't know where I was going to say something prophetic, but I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, that's one thing I have noticed is that they've tackled for. They've pretty much always tackled. Yeah, you know that didn't change. <clears throat> but I don't. I just I find basketball r- tough to watch because it's just threes and trying to draw fouls. And yeah, like Bill Burr said something interesting when, too. When you watch a game and the fourth quarter starts at like ten ten, and then there's a minute left in the game and it's eleven o'clock. Yeah, like that's extreme. Obviously, that's that probably hasn't happened, but like you know, uh, probably has. The last five. I mean, I have that issue with college basketball too, where like the last ten minutes of the game takes an hour. It's it's makes basketball because it's fucking, a two second thing, and then they're fouled, and then the guys at the foul line, and then yeah, and then you have ads. You have ads. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes you'll have ads in the middle of a play. I've had that happen. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm trying to watch basketball and. They'll have an ad, they'll they'll bring an ad on screen, screen and put the fucking game in the tiny box and have like a hostess Swiss rolls ad yeah and you're in like, the big box and I'm like okay on one hand I want the I hostess. do want Swiss rolls but uh, can I watch the game please <laughs> little Deb little Deb LD <laughs> hey that's the that's capitalism bro they're paying that money to get on the get those advertisements in I suppose um. There was, well, Bill Burr said something interesting about it where uh, he was basically saying, like, it feels like defenders don't play defense anymore because they're scared to end up on Instagram <laughs> getting dunked on. <laughs> that would actually make a lot of sense. And it seems entirely true. Like, that seems so fucking real. <laughs> that wouldn't shock me in the slightest. <laughs> um, I saw this article the other day about a kid that... uh. He he like, du- he like got his his father's remains, oh. um, like his skeleton, <laughs> right? And he made a guitar out of it, cause his his dad was like a metalhead and shit, and uh, it's literally like a rib cage, like a torso with fucking strings on it. it sounds like shit, absolute shit, but it looks cool as fuck. It's That's... really badass. But it's so weird, man. You're turning your dad into a fucking axe. <laughs> it's kind of terrible. And you're like playing Stairway to Heaven or some shit on it because you don't know how to play it. You just play Cats in the Cradle. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and Drop D. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason. Do you want any moonshine? It's in a vodka bottle, but I brought moonshine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Jesus apple pie. Christ. Yes. Uh,. What was the next one? We were talking about skeletons in the NFL. Oh, we were talking about Philip Rivers and Frank Gore. Mm-hmm. What's the? <laughs> that was it. That's all I had. Oh, that's all you had for topics? Yeah, I had the McGregor. I think Conor McGregor. Oh, Conor McGregor. Or well, we could talk about. We well, could talk about Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> also, well, let's. We were on the NFL already. The Super Bowl. How'd you feel about Tom Brady winning his seventh? It was great. I love Tom Brady. I really do too. (laughs) It's like in a weird way. It's like I can't stand him, and also he's awesome because, like, oh my god, dude! All the shit, even afterwards, like when he was throwing the fucking (laughs) the Lombardi Lombardi trophy across the like river (laughs) to some question mark people that are on a boat. Like (laughs) it was like like the backup tight end. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) it's so badass though. But like he's having a good time, so like. You, you like, respect it because, like, the career he's had and shit. It's like, he deserves that. Do you think? But, like, fuck. Stop winning rings, though. I want someone else to do it, though. Oh, yeah. I was I forgot. The, they beat the Bucks in the playoffs. I'm a Cowboys fan, so I don't have to worry about that. 
They beat the Packers in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, it was yeah, fucking some shit, though. That one play, it was the one play before the half that really, like, that was it. The touchdown? It yeah. And, and it's just, that was Kevin King completely just, how do you not pay attention to the guy that's, like, what? It, it's the one play. There's one play left in the half. Right. Play, prevent, def- stand, put 11 guys at the goal line. <laughs> just have them be like in phalanx formation and fucking <laughs> wait until someone shows up and then tackle them. Yeah. Like what? No, don't let guys get behind you on the last play of the half. Were you expecting the Super Bowl to be The NFC Championship was the Super Bowl. Um cuz the fucking Chiefs had they played they didn't like have dog an shit. O, they didn't have an all line at all. I mean, it was really bad. And Tampa Bay, like, I think I said it, maybe even said on the the beginning of the season on this, that, you know, people were, like, panicking in, about, and, you know, they were making fun of Brady and shit because the, the Bucks started off slow. And I was just like, look, they're on, they're going to get better. They're going to get way yeah. better. No, like, we, I think we were better. both talking about that. Yeah, cause, like, they were only going to, there's no way that that team stays like that. Because they started what, like one and four? Yeah, they finished they were losing, eleven and five. They were on a pretty decent losing streak, and then, like I don't know, week six, seven, they started turning around a little bit. Their defense started looking scary. And the thing is, too, is that they didn't look that good until the playoffs. That's what I thought. Yeah, it was, was like wild. They like, looked pretty good. No one really thought too much about them until week sixteen, seventeen, and yeah. then they're like, oh boy, these guys are actually a contender. Um, they started beating like teams that were playoff teams. I even mean, Green beat, Bay, they beat the Cowboys, dude. Even Green Bay, I didn't think was like they looked really, really good, but they also didn't play that many good teams. And like towards the end of the season, I started building more confidence because they beat the Titans and like they were beating teams that were going to make the playoffs. And you're like, okay, well they got a shot. And then they had to play. Uh, they had to play the Rams. They beat the Rams. That's a good game, and that's a big trade there too with the Rams. Jared Goff oh, yeah. uh, going to. Uh, uh, who they fucked? Oh, Matt Stafford. Yeah, they traded him for Stafford. That's um, it's an interesting fucking trade. I think Matt Stafford is under fucking rated too. I'm really excited because I think he's gonna fucking blow the lid off of L. A. Yeah, because they're here you, first. You, they're gonna make the playoffs. They're not gonna. That's it. The I, they're just gonna make the playoffs because they. Matt Stafford is at least a tier better than Goff. I think he's better, than and me. Goff is not that bad. He really isn't. I just think Matt Stafford's really good. Like Goff I, is like our generation is this generation's Alex Smith. I think yeah. Goff is pretty good. I've seen Matt Stafford play a lot because he's a divisional right team. So like you, you you watch him play and you're like his decisions making his decision making's good. His vision's good. Like he can move. Like he knows how to avoid sacks. He doesn't hold onto the ball for too long. Too often he does take sacks, but it's he's a good quarterback. He can make throws like when he has to. I think it's a good move for that team. Yeah, I'm really excited for both of them. It'd be really funny though. I fucking can you imagine if like Jared Goff leads the Lions to a playoff position <laughs> and they beat the Rams in the first round? <laughs> that would be wild. <laughs> That's the matchup that you want to see. Is those teams? playing each other now i don't think the lions team around goff is good enough to even break even but i think goff is gonna do well individually and yeah. he has really nowhere to go but up and it's sink or swim for him right now just like uh jimmy garoppolo mm-hmm. the two of them have to do something this year because i mean garoppolo was injured and he led that niner team to a super bowl but like eh, even that playoff run he didn't play great he's yeah, he, he he's all right. He's a run the offense type of guy. Yeah, Jared Golf. And then uh, I hate he? when people say Golf instead of golf. Is it Golf? It's Golf. Like when they're saying golf. Oh, golf! But they say Golf. Yeah, when I go play around a gaff. Don't do that though. Don't say that. Sink it to my all. Pico de guy. Hit some golf balls. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who was the other guy? I was saying, oh yeah, Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't, yeah. That Niners team is weird. Have you ever seen a team like make it to the Super Bowl? I mean, I guess the last team that made it to the Super Bowl and then flamed out was the 49ers when mm-hmm. they did it the last. <laughs> yeah, they're good at that. Yeah. They're good at going, we're pretty good. And then they're going, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we got, yeah. we fooled you guys. <laughs> 
Fucking a- Ashton Kutcher's in the back. Stupid fans. Fucking 49ers fans. Oh, Dumbasses. Yeah. Uh, the 49ers fans are like... I like the red and gold. I'll give them that much. Dude, those, they're, they're all black. Jerseys are badass. Those are cool. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the all black guess, with the yeah. with the um. That's what you're into. Well, the thing is, like, even the Saints have bad. Like, the golden black just looks cool. All black with the gold helmets. The Saints. Hmm. I think it looks sweet. It's another one, Drew Brees. Hall of Fame. Riding off into the sunset. <laughs> yeah, except it was a fucking black hole. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> Tom Brady goes cool, <laughs> and then just goes. <laughs> You're getting lit up though, and then you're yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that was so funny that that was the biggest story going into this season was how Drew Brees was finally going to prove that he was better than Tom Brady by beating him in the square. <laughs> <Ferris Hotel. laughs> <laughs> Brady's like, Ooh, hold my Lombardi. <laughs> yeah, Darren Brady, Sharpa, like, hold my trophy. <laughs> yeah, like meanwhile he's like, who's the quarterback on the other team? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know though. I'm just gonna throw it all over this defense. <laughs> you wonder. He might not even think about it. He probably oh, just goes, he doesn't care. Here's what's cover two. Is this cover two? Oh, okay. It's like <laughs> it's like the Brett Favre with uh, the nickel defense. Mm-hmm. You ever heard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, what's a uh, what's a nickel defense? Oh, it's when they have an extra defensive back instead of an extra linebacker. Oh, that's it. Yeah. It's exactly Who gives right. a shit? <laughs> he, he didn't care, man. It's weird because you see quarterbacks. I don't know. I think that age of quarterback is over. <laughs> I don't know if you can get by without knowing that kind of shit. You kind of have to be able to read defenses now. But also, like, they're so deceptive the way, like, defensive coordinators are now. Yeah. They'll, like, show a cover two and be like, just kidding, this is cover six. And then you're <laughs> like, huh? What is cover six? And then <laughs> you're throwing in, before you know it, you're throwing into triple coverage. <laughs> yeah. So it's who a, do you got? Who are your way too early picks for the Super Bowl this year? Hmm. Do you think Tampa Bay repeats? Yeah, it's gonna be Green Bay. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't think I don't think they do. I don't I think they'll probably lose some guys. They want to try and keep all those guys. They have twenty four free agents. Yeah. So they they have to keep some of those guys. But I don't think they can afford to. Brady will take the pay cuts, he always does. Which is another thing, like Guys don't do that. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, because a guy like Brady should be getting like Pat Mahomes money. Hmm. Yep. And Pat Mahomes, meanwhile, goes, I, I, we couldn't do anything. We don't know what we're doing here. And I'm going to throw, I'm going to be completely horizontal with the field yeah. and throw this ball into the end zone. But we're still going to lose because we actually don't have anybody around us that's doing anything for some reason. We have Tyreek Hill and all these other fucking Travis Kelsey. But where are they, though? <laughs> are they on this field today? Because yeah. I don't get that, man. That's a good – it's fucking – it's impressive for that defense to do that because that's, pow- that's a powerful offense. They were powerful all year. They didn't even score a touchdown. They fucking – they lost one game. Until that fucking Super Bowl. Yeah. And they lost to a division opponent. Dude, there was a stat that said, like, dude, Mahomes has only lost, like, three fucking games, four games or some bullshit. That's insanity. Yeah. That's fucking absolutely insane. Because if you think about it, their their record last year was they only had one or two losses. They were 14 and two last year. Yeah. Something like that. And then they were, they only had one loss this year. Yeah, so since his since he won MVP, he's lost three regular season games. It's fucking ridiculous. He's still trash. He's the worst. <laughs> he's not even that good. He's not even as good as Dak. He's basically Tony Romo. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. So Conor McGregor. Anyway, yeah, dude, fucking Christian. So Christian was in Aruba, right? He goes to Aruba for his uh, his uh, wife's brother's birthday. They rent out a cabana, and they're like, "What? Huh? Why are all these other ones not booked?" And then they find out that one person has booked all of the other cabanas that are there, and they're like, "Who? Who could that be?" Question mark. And then they find out that it's Floyd Mayweather who has booked out all of the other cabanas, and they end up basically hanging out with Floyd Mayweather. 
<laughs> it's like what do they hang out with him like more than just the one time i don't know i haven't picture? really talked to him about it <clears throat> they hung out the whole weekend <laughs> he said like they like floyd brought a whole bunch of people there and shit because it was his birthday too or something like that that's wild it's like what the fuck what are the chances dude he loves aruba apparently floyd's a big aruba guy but on the poll does floyd like aruba yes or no we need a poll guy. I would say yes, but we don't have a poll guy. We don't have. What if there was just a guy there the whole time? <laughs> we had, we haven't actually acknowledged him. But he's just some guy. He's like, I'm just here for the polls, though. So if you guys have any polls, send them, <laughs> send them over here. And then he does nothing because <laughs> because we just answer the poll question. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, that's wild. Very strange. And Christian is like the worst person to like meet celebrities because like i just feel like he would be like starstruck and like nervous and do something like fucking like wicked awkward because that's just how he like he's just awkward so he would like say something wicked awkward and just be like <laughs> fucking he's floyd like, would just look at him like hey what's like, up huh? floyd what are you doing getting a tan <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what do you like beaches or something? <laughs> <laughs> Just some dumbass shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, I don't know. That's uh, I mean, there's definitely what uh, what other shit has happened in four months? Some other shit, right? Christmas. Oh, how about GME? Uh, I don't know anything about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't understand the stock market. You know, it's not so that the, uh, they shorted it. They stole a bunch of money and they were making money and selling money. And then Robin hood was like, nah, hang on, we're going to commit <laughs> fraud. <laughs> then yeah. a couple yeah, other yeah. companies were like, yeah, we're going to commit fraud. And then yeah. they were like, Hey, <laughs> stop. Well, basically. Fraud. Right, they, they basically had like the hedge funds basically were betting that like GameStop was going to fail because it has looked like they're going to fail. And then everybody knows that it's looked like they were going to fail. There was some guy on YouTube, uh, and he goes by deep fucking value and he posts on wall street bets all the time on the subreddit. And he's been following GameStop for a while. And he was like putting a bunch of money into the stocks cause he thinks that they're going to come back. They're going to bounce back because the guy from Chewy, uh, Ryan Cohen, it was buying GameStop and he was going to, mm-hmm. they were thinking like, Oh, he's going to grab it. And he was a genius with Chewy and how he sold it off and all that and how he built it that GameStop was going to turn into like an e-commerce thing all online. Um, that was the general idea. But then like basically it blew up on this fucking subreddit. Everybody bought into GME and sent the shit skyrocketing. And when it went up, the fucking like a lot of these, these brokers decided to shut it down because they are fucking scum, wicked scum. They're trying to protect like hedge funds and shit. Because they get their money from that. <laughs> that's where the. That's how they do it. They basically blocked all this shit. They, they halted trading so that people couldn't buy shares anymore. You could sell, but you couldn't buy. So it went back down. And you can see the point, like, if you look at the chart right where they, they halted it and it starts going back down. But just a couple of days ago, it went back up again. So, like, people are still trying to do it. The idea is you buy up all the shares so that they can't buy them back. And you hold the shares. And I don't know. The general idea with the stock market usually is you buy it low and sell high. I made 100 bucks. <laughs> That's dope. Because you just, I bought a share of it when it was like 46 bucks. It went up and I sold it at 144 or something like that. So. It's like, I don't know. The thing about the stock market is like, buy, if you have money to invest and you're willing to lose it, then you can go for it and just see what happens with it. But what's interesting is a lot of people have gotten interested in the stock market all of a sudden because it's it's a like a popular thing. It's a headline that, number one, it wasn't COVID and it was being talked about. So like it was the first thing that like people were interested in that wasn't based on that. Right. Or politics, which I guess kind of it's in the same vein. It's about money and power. <laughs> but it's an interesting fucking little thing to, that's going off. People are also putting money in like AMC because they think the theaters are coming back. 
and that's another thing like our movie theater is going to come like you got to think they're going to come back but i don't know man it's like the way that things are it's so easy to just stream things now You, you should be able to just even if there was an amc app you could go hey here's a movie theater app you pay us a price and we license you this movie for 48 hours or whatever just running movies yeah that are currently in theaters hbo max is sick because the movies that they own the the rights to you get on release day on hbo mm. like uh king kong and godzilla yeah but who wants that i do it also has yeah, adult right. swim it has adult swim on hbo max. yeah but so does adult swim yeah but they have adult swim yeah but if you do adult swim on your smart tv it doesn't you can't set a playlist up so you have to press play every time yeah oh yeah that's true it's fucking stupid so i i spend the ten dollars a month just so i don't have to do that yeah it's just you get into this thing where like there's just so many streaming services and there's and there's so many things that are convenient that are worth the money so it's like like you said i don't ever went to the movies anyway yeah i'm not gonna go back it's one thing that this pandemic has shown people too though is like you can do a lot of shit at home yeah this with technology and it's weird because you might you might see less offices being leased out and shit like that because they're starting to realize like certain certain companies can just do everything remotely with like go to meeting or fucking zoom or whatever I feel like people still need that social aspect though i I think they do, but I don't think that the the corporations care no God no. They're going to just say, it's cheaper for us to not pay for this building. And you guys stay home, actually do what you're doing, and do it properly. And we'll be I think right. it's difficult because, like, you don't want to shit where you eat. You know, what your house becomes your job, so you can't escape it. You can't relax on the couch because you look over at your desk and you're like, oh, fuck. You'd have to have, like, a dedicated office of some sort. Yeah, or just work in an office, a satellite office. That's outside of the home. Yeah. Or inside the home. That's on the property. Yeah. Um, I can't work from home because I have to lift 40 pound bags of uh, wood pallets. Same. Yeah. That's usually what happens in hospitals. They lift wood pallets. Wood pallets and pallets. Wood pallets, wood pallets. Wood pallets. Uh, fiberglass. Yeah. Fiber one bars. Fiber optics. Uh, fiber. Yeah. Something else. Something else with fiber. <clears throat> Metamucil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mucinex. It's got a lot of Mucinex. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Mucinex now with fiber. <laughs> now with. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah. Do you think you could, uh, <laughs> do you think you could catch, do you think you could catch a bird, first of all, catch a bird? Right. And then also give it like a little, like a, a poke in the ass. <laughs> in the cloaca? Yeah. Now, how big are their assholes is my uh, question. Uh, pencil. Like a pencil. Do they, uh, prolapse? Like, do they, like, No, oh, it's like I- a... It's a cloaca, so they use the same hole for like reproduction, defecation. Oh, so everything goes in and out. It's all one. Yeah, it's probably a s- probably smells really funny. Yeah, but I don't know. You'd have Wait, to so you want to catch a bird and then I was thinking catch a it? bird and then fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> with your finger. Because I feel like f- catching it is the hard part, though. Like fucking it is probably easy. It might kill it though. It's going to for sure kill it, though, because it's bigger than your dick is probably bigger than most birds organs, like most of the yeah, the essential organs or their bodies in general. Depends on what bird, though, like if it's a raven, you know, like that's a tough one. You're not going to catch it. But you have to fight it first to catch it in a cage. Yeah. A bird cage. (laughs) 
Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, you, you could lure the bird in, though. You l- know, lure. Yeah, you could lure it in. Lure it in. You could lure it with in. some with a suet cake or something. You know, <laughs> <laughs> put a nice little suet out there so it knows it's about to get fucked. Maybe it keeps coming back. Maybe it likes it. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, Shit. <laughs> I thought you would understand. They're sacred. Yeah. You can't. Well, I don't know. Like, there's only certain... Like, what... If we had to rank the animals, like, as far as, like, which ones we'd fuck first, what's the number one, you think? Like, the number one animal in all of the wild they would put your wiener inside of and jizz. <laughs> It's hard enough for me to do that with the women. You want me to pick an animal? Yeah. They are. They're basically animals. I would say it's got to be something that's like uh, big. You know what I mean? Something that's got like some... Uh, so you can cuddle afterwards, you know? <laughs> like, a, like a bear's too much because like they're going to be just going hard at you and they're, you're probably going to get eaten. Your face is going to have a problem. Do um, something the docile. thing, though, is all of the animals are going to smell really bad. You could give them a quick shower or bath or whatever, you know? You have to use Dawn. Yeah. I'm just thinking, like, uh, you want something that's not going to eat you or attack you. So house trained. Maybe that's why people fuck dogs. Those people are fucked up, though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I would say you probably shouldn't fuck dogs overall. People do do it. Do people do that? Oh, yeah, they do. I seen it. I, I saw it. Well, back when the internet was a little bit wild... Sometimes you could accidentally stumble on... Accidentally, yeah, sure. No, you definitely could get it accidentally. And it ain't good when it's at an accident. If you're looking for it actively, like, it's cool. You know what I mean? Because, like, yeah, then you finally like, found finally. what you're looking for. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. If you're just kind of, like, browsing cool stuff, you know, checking cool, out cool, cool things. Coolstuff.com. Cool, yeah, stuff that's cool. <laughs> dot com slash... Slash uh, fucking dogs. <laughs> they have a subdomain for it. Because you would click. There was risky clicks, you know. There's not so many of those nowadays. Not for me, at least. No. I don't um, get into the dark, into the weeds. No, I I only go on Facebook, Reddit, and 4chan. And even I don't even go on 4chan it's that It's monopolized. Often. That's the problem. Well, it's like I don't. I didn't get anything out of social media anyway. I, I just use Reddit. The thing about social media, I was just thinking about that last night. It's like for, um, sports news and memes, but I don't post anything. Yeah. And Facebook is just where I post the memes that I find on Reddit and Fortune. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's funny because like every time I see you post anything, I'm like, I saw that on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every time. <laughs> um, but like. I don't know. The value of social media is weird right now because, like, it's basically for arguing. And it's worthless. Yeah. Like, it used to be, like, you could keep, the idea was to keep in contact with people and shit. Yeah. Like, so most people, honestly, like, they're getting rid of Facebook and just keeping Messenger. I don't think that we were supposed to have computers on us 24-7. I think smartphones were the problem. I don't think we were supposed to have computers on us all the time. Dude, when I was a kid, I didn't even have a computer, and that's all I wanted was to be able to, like, get on the internet and just check the shit out. And now we're just always on the internet. You don't log off. You used to be able to log off. No, there's no log off, dude. That's the, that's the sad thing nowadays. All these apps just keep you logged in anyway, so you just hit shit, and you're fucking going. You're yeah. going hard. MySpace, you used to have to sit down and, like, check your, your comments. You know what I mean? That's right. Because they would come up on your fucking, at the very bottom of your page. Worst interface of all time, too, though, if you think about it. It was like home, photos, uh, and that's it. Journal or blog. Yeah, like, yeah, blog. Like, people actually posted in those for some reason. And then you'd have, like, a screen name, too. It wasn't like a, like, with Facebook, it's your name. Oh, yeah, you'd have display name. Yeah. 
And then half the time you're like, who? I don't know who this is. Because they shot it with some one megapixel camera that fucking some digital camera that their mom had or some shit. And My it's MySpace too dark. Is still up. It's all mirror <laughs> pics. It's all mirror shots. Yeah. <laughs> when I was like 11. Those are the good ones, man. But you got to do. I just fucking. The mirror shots with the. Uh, they always got them with their abs out. That's the cool shit. You got to have abs. Yeah. Or you could Photoshop them on. That always works No, too. the cool thing with MySpace was that you had a playlist that played every time someone went on your account. Well, it was just one song for a, a long time. And then I would up, always change my 10. profile. Song. It went up to 10. And then you had a whole playlist, bro. That was the shit. I used MySpace to listen to music. Yep. Well, actually, that's what tur- it turned into. Was That was the idea. Yeah. It was trying to just be like a, a hub for music. Yeah. Which, that's D- what Tom, it is. Tom made $4 billion by selling MySpace. Was Tom real? Yeah. I, don't, I remember reading something about how he was like a bunch of people. Like a My, the MySpace team was Tom. Nope. But I don't know if that's real. I'm pretty sure it was Tom. Yeah, he looked real, right? I'm not. Yeah. That's not what I'm looking up, but it seems like know. seems like you are though. No, I was thinking of the guy that invented 4chan. I wanted to see how much money he made by selling 4chan. Mm. Uh, does oh, he made exist? like he made like two million. Is 4chan still a thing? Yeah. I never got into that. I didn't understand the format of the boards and how everyone's anonymous and like I didn't get. Where you click on things, and then it would have like a reply with the little thing and like a number, and I'm like, what? It, how do you follow this conversation? Because they're all like replying to something that I can't see. Well, you start from the top and you scroll down. You don't though, because the further down you scroll, it's just the worst it gets. And then that's where you get the dog fucking. You know what I mean? Like you're Dude, I feel through. like everybody's idea of 4chan is just the bad stuff from uh, the well, from the random board. I like going on 4chan for sports stuff because they always have the best streams, and they also there's no logical discussion. It's just shit talking. Well, so just it's get hilarious. It on, uh, just go on Parlor and get it, huh? On Parlor. Um. Oh, that was the Twitter for that uh, was like the Trump Trump the conservative Twitter. Yeah. They were like, "Fuck Facebook." I uh, I don't like that they're telling us that if these are facts because Donald Trump actually did win the election and it's all fake. And you can't tell me that it's not. So I'm going away from Facebook. Uh, not a fan. And they're still they're all back on Facebook. So every single person <laughs> yeah. on both sides, every single person I met that was like, I'm done with Facebook yeah. is still on Facebook. There was another one. There was like MeWe or something that everybody was trying to move to. And it like looks like MySpace. Yeah. And you're like, Okay. Have have a good two days. Yeah. And then we'll see you again though. You're going to just be posting more Joe Biden memes about how he stutters because for some reason that's the only thing they attack. Well, you know, Jack, uh, I was thinking about way back, uh, you get Heinz ketchup and you get Hunt's ketchup. And uh, when you think about it, they're the same ketchup. They're both red. They both got salt. They're both made with tomatoes. I mean, even the bottle, the color of the bottle is the same. So I I think when you look at it, uh, you know, uh, ketchup's ketchup. You dip it in or you don't. I think uh, if you're given a choice, then you're going to go with the ketchup. And if it, if you want ketchup and all you have is hunts, well, you know, Jack, you're going to get the hunts. <laughs> is this what you're talking about right now? Uh, M- Mr. When President. did he say that? <laughs> Mr. President, uh, would you be able to answer the question, please? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's uh, February. <laughs> <laughs> What am I signing? That was the th- that's the big one everybody keeps doing. It's like what? Okay, yeah, he's old. <laughs> like we get it. It's great, and he, and he's actually like not he's not that much more uh, liberal. He's not that much more liberal than Trump is. He's pretty much like the same guy. Yeah, <laughs> except he's not an asshole. Like that's the difference. Yeah. That's the whole difference. Oh man, I, my my problem was like I wish that these conservatives were right though, because then. As soon as Joe Biden got in, COVID would be gone. Uh, yeah. That would be sick. 
if that was actually the, the I wouldn't case. even be mad at the New World Order if that's what they did. Yeah. If they were like, hey, that we're actually the Illuminati's real and we, we orchestrated COVID so that Donald Trump couldn't be reelected. And now COVID's gone forever. Uh, those All those people are dead. But COVID's gone forever. <laughs> they're not coming back. No, they're actually like, oh, just kidding. All your loved ones are here. And they come from behind some fucking curtain. <laughs> Under your seat. <laughs> <laughs> we actually paid them hundreds of millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, you find out that I never worked in the, in the hospital. I was just an actor. I was a yeah, paid actor yeah. this whole time. It, they're all crisis actors. <laughs> the hundreds of thousands of people. If they pull that off. You, they're, they get to, that's, they get to run the metal detector. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's award worthy shit right there. That was the idea though, man. As soon as Biden comes in, it would all go away. Now they're like, well, hey, how about you look? Uh, we have less people getting diagnosed every day uh, since the vaccines rolled out and the vaccines rolled out. When Biden took over. Mm -hmm. So what do you say there, Jack? Well, I'll tell you, Jack. Uh, I just don't know. I just got a, don't know. You got a great point. You have a really good point. <laughs> Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, fuck. I just... Uh, well, the, uh, I am gonna miss Donald Trump being the president on the basis of I is funny. Uh, well, it was easier to to be able to realize if people were fucking stupid or not based on if they all they talked about was him, whether it was good or bad. If all you did was complain about Donald Trump, I didn't have to listen to you. And now it takes longer for me to figure out whether or not people's opinions and the things they say. Yeah. are worth my time Yeah, because I have to wait until they're done making their point. Back then it was, did you see what Donald Trump did? And it's like immediately. Sure off. didn't. Sure didn't. Uh, you know what I was doing? I was busy not trying to be miserable on purpose. I was busy and I didn't watch the news. What Donald Trump was doing. It was like, <laughs> I think I talked about it before, but people I knew were like, yeah, I just watched CNN uh, just to keep up with what Donald Trump is doing. And it's like, is that why you're pissed off all the time? Well, yeah, well, you wouldn't believe what he did today. And it's like, why are you watching the news if you know it's going to piss you off? Dude, that's all I it is. I don't understand that. That's I, all it is, is like, I have these ideas, and I'm just going to watch stuff that makes me mad, or that the stuff that I agree with, that goes down a rabbit hole for no reason. It's 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 a fucking waste, because it. And that's what I miss. Because nobody talks about Joe Biden. Right, like... I nobody talks about him. It's basically like, well, first of all, rest in peace, Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> he was a great conservative voice. Everybody cared about him. Uh, yeah, deeply. and he also he had a radio show where he would start the show off by shooting off fireworks and making fun of gay people that died of AIDS. Yeah, which is that's pretty. Great. That's pretty funny. Yeah, but like really, really low brow. You definitely want to do that for sure. It gives you credibility. <laughs> Like it'd be funny if it if it didn't happen in real life. It'd be funny if it was like actually funny though. You know? Like if it was a Family Guy skit. <laughs> like yeah, like context. Yeah, is I don't know. It's lacking. They there. they have a whole they have a whole barbershop quartet bit where they make fun of AIDS and that's funny. But I think now bear with me. I think if you're gonna go through the obituaries and find out which people died of AIDS and you make fun of them that's not cool but if you're going to make a cartoon that makes fun of them yeah overall it's fine probably don't do it though it's funny that yeah like it's just weird that like I can't um, believe I just said that <laughs> it kind of is like it's weird that like sometimes with animated shows like you can get away with more shit because it's like it's not real like, like you could show someone getting fucking brutally torn apart in animation, but like if you showed someone get brutally torn apart for real in live action, you're going to probably have a, an issue on your hands there. What do you think would happen if like, I just don't know. No, thoughts gone. 
It's just my head. Uh, uh, and disappeared. Uh, <laughs> Next Saturday, we have Blahovitz versus Adesanya. What do you got? Ah. You got to take Izzy, right? Do you? I, have I to. think so. I'm not. I think you got to take Izzy, maybe. I don't know. It's tough because he's going to. It's going to be a different approach for each guy. Because Jan is is not the same style of fighter, I don't think. Like, I think Izzy's going to be one of those guys, outside type of guys, leading with jabs. He's long. Use reach a little bit. Like, I don't know. I see it going to distance. I don't see a fucking something crazy happening. But I also saw a couple of fights that Probably I thought we're gonna go to the distance this year and didn't really work that way. It's just like I don't know. Adesanya is like tough to bet against for the most part. Like Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I would just put my money on Izzy ultimately. <laughs> I like think my thing is that who did uh, Jan just beat? Like what was his Reyes? Last? It was Reyes. Yeah, he knocked him out. Yeah, like Reyes is tough too, though. So like, well, that's the thing is, do you think that uh, it's MMA? Is math. He, do you think? It, uh, yeah, the, an MMA math is just not. Uh, yeah, it's not reliable. But do you think Izzy is because they said he's not even going up in weight? Like, he's going up in weight, but he's not going to... What's the word I'm looking for? St- like, uh... He's... So, like, Jan has to cut to 205 and then go back up to, like, 220 or whatever, 215, whatever he fights at. Izzy is going to go up to 205 and stay around there. So, it'll be lighter Yeah. than Jan. Do you think he's going to be able to hit him hard enough? Probably. I would imagine so. That's, oh, that's a technique thing, though. Like, if you can hit, you can hit. Like, it's not really a... Like, your weight definitely helps. But, like, it's a it's a matter of, like, your striking ability. I think either of those guys, it's like, if they catch the other guy, it's fucking going to be over. And I it's, think it's definitely a case of if Jan catches Izzy, I think it's definitely Yeah, that's over. what I mean. Like, I feel like Izzy's going to be smart enough to stay on the outside. Yeah. Sometimes you can't avoid that, though. It's going to be a good fight. Dude, I'm just, like, obsessed with Kamaru Usman right now. Yeah, he t- he completely won me over. Um, he's the like last so fight. That was disgusting. Man. He's another level. Like I don't know who the fuck. You know, how do you deal with him? Like he's overwhelming, and he's just fucking so like good in every aspect. Who is the only guy that's beaten him? That's a good question. Was it? I just know that he, um, well, it's weird because the way he's built too, like his, his legs aren't huge, but like he's in wicked good shape and he just seems to like beat, he just seems to beat anybody who is in front of him. So he, I, he did lose a fight though, didn't he? What is his uh, record overall? He hasn't lost since I was in high school. He lost to some guy that doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. He is 18 and one. <laughs> That's he how joined you know the, he joined guy. the UFC in 2015. He's beaten everybody. Leon Edwards, Sean Strickland, Sergio Moraes, Damian Maya, RDA, Woodley, Covington, Masvidal, Burns. Woodley, Covington, Masvidal, Burns. Yep. Like. What, and it, well, and it starts off, I mean, look at this. He goes from 2018 to now, he goes Damian Maya, RDA, Tyron Woodley, Kobe Covington, George Masvidal, and Gilbert Burns. Yeah, it's, That's. It's, that's a fucking murderer's row. And the crazy thing is that, like, Masvidal is probably the worst out of those guys, and he's still a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's like a... It, or, I well, mean, he'd probably beat Maya, but, like, I think he'd probably Masvidal be would beat Damian Maya, but Damian Maya back then was ridiculous. But, like, you take a, any of those guys and match them up against each other, it's a good fight, so, like... But the fact that Usman is just pretty much making him... He's negating... Well, Covington was close. Yeah, but... He's yeah. For the most part, he's made people look bad. Yeah. Like he, he just he's. But that's the div, like that division is fucking awesome. I, I've always loved that. It's division. always been ridiculous. Because who had the belt before Woodley? Robbie Lawler. Mm-hmm. 
And before Lawler, it was GSP, right? St. Pierre was... And the thing was, like, that division is... The reason I like it is because they're all, like... They're at that right in between where, like, they can have awesome cardio, they can be quick, and they can be, like, that quick style of fighter. Or you could still be some jacked-up dude and fucking just be a power guy. Yeah. I, my, the sweet spot for me is, is 170 to 205. Yeah, I think once you get to heavyweight, you you see less, significantly less technique, significantly yeah. less cardio. But that's what makes guys like Cyril Gan so interesting because I didn't watch the fight last night, but yeah. apparently he looked amazing. Yeah, it, was, it did. He did look good. It was just um the the most of the fight was like there was a lot of downtime, so it was. Like it wasn't the most um, gripping fight of all time, but he looked good. And I don't know. I was just thinking about it the other day the ha- the light heavyweight division. That was the division back in the day. Like that. Like that was pretty much in the early two thousands. Yeah, from like from T- from Tito to pretty much Jones. Right. Because like, Jones just ruined that division for like yeah. seven years. But at one point you had like fucking everybody like yeah. Forrest Griffin. Uh, Rich Franklin, Silva fought at two hundred five. Rampage Jackson, Anderson Rampage, Silva, Rumble, Chuck Liddell, Rashad Evans, Tito, yeah, Chael Sonnen, Ryan Bader, yeah, you had- uh, Gustafson. I just watched the Gustafson. Is it Gustafson or Gustafson? Because I watched, so I watched Jones Gustafson one and Jones Gustafson two, and in the first one they called him Gustafson, and then in the second one they called him Gustafson. Mm, it depends, I guess. It, it probably in his native tongue is probably Gustafsson. I think it's wild that <clears throat> he just couldn't get over the two massive humps that were DC and Bones Jones. Yeah. Because I was they're, looking... They're big humps, though, man. Those I was are... looking at his record, and the record looking, looking up... The record leading up to John Jones, the streak he went on. And I forget... Um... Problem is when you hit those guys, it's like a wall that you, you right. Know, like it's just not easy to beat those two. I just I forget how ridiculous Gustafson was up until he lost to Bones Jones, mm-hmm. which he beat, I, which was debatable too. Like yeah, I mean it was a toss up. I'm pretty sure they were really really close odds. I felt like he won it. Yeah, a lot of people did. I think it was so it was 49 46 49 46 and then and then some uh, wicked bullshit or it was 48 47 48 47 and then 49 46 is what they scored yeah, that, it for Yeah that was some shit. Like how how did that I think it should have been a split decision if anything cuz yeah 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 the, the, I, I think, think Jones definitely won but I think Gus I was more upset about the scoring than like him actually losing like yeah. it was kind of just fucking ridiculous the way cuz like you watch the fight over and over if you watch it a couple more times you just go there's no way that they're scoring it that way though. Yeah. there's no way that Gus only won one round <laughs> there's That's no the way there's that. no way um but his lead up to Jones was Cyril Diabati submission in the second round James Tahuna Submission in the first. Matt Hamill knockout in the second. Vladimir Machyshenko. Oh, man, throwback. Matt Hamill's been, uh, Matt Hamill's been KO first quite a round. Tiago Silva decision. Shogun Ua decision. There's another one, Shogun. Oh yeah, that's he right. Was, we first two. Jimmy Manawa. He was all right. I was talking about Shogun the other day too. He because uh, he was the guy like he was huge in pride and like to do it in the UFC again. Like he basically was like, I'm doing this. I'm still kicking people in the legs and hurting them bad. Yeah. And then he was Machida when he fought Machida the first time you're just going, what this guy's leg kicks are fucking scary. Cause Machida and especially against a guy like Machida, who's karate style and his like stance is like, I'm putting my leg out here as far as I can. Please kick it. Yeah. And then, and then Shogun goes, okay. And <laughs> lights it up. And his leg is a different color the next day. That's crazy. He fought. What's this? Okay. This is the grand prix. So from April, June. So in less than 12 weeks, he fought rampage Antonio Noguera and beat both of them. And then he beat Overeem and Ricardo Arona and knocked them both out in the mm-hmm. same night to mm-hmm. win the belt. 
that's the scary thing about pride. Like any would, guy that came from pride, you know that they're just like, don't care. I'll fight four guys right yeah. now. And then they do it, and then they're like, <laughs> and then they they win the title. That's some shit, man. Like the pride tournaments and shit. Yeah, that's the thing I love. I want the Bellator light heavyweight tournament to be ridiculous because we have Rumble versus Yoel Romero. Oh, and he's another one, man. It's like Romero is fucking high level shit right now. That guy's fucking scary. Yoel is just genuinely scary. The heavyweight division is interesting because you got a lot of big, like Derek Lewis, Francis Ngannou, Curtis Blades. Like you got scary dudes, like really scary guys, and they're all like win and one hit type of guys. That's what makes heavyweight exciting. But I also felt like when Lesnar was there, it was exciting because Lesnar was just fun to watch because he was athletic. He's huge. He was strong. He was a really cool guy too. And like you didn't like care you didn't care that, that much like that he didn't have technique. <laughs> Cause he was just I'm gonna run at you though. I'm gonna run at you and you have to figure out what's gonna happen because I don't know. <laughs> like he, he he literally had no plan of attack. He's like, I'm just coming at you with full like aggression. That last fight he had against Tito was fucking depressing though. I actually I watched that one this morning, and I watched Fedor versus Rampage this morning. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Fedor versus Rampage in fucking uh, Bellator, yeah, I about where that. they fought in Japan. Yeah, yeah. I was still, you know, I'm still upset about um, Chuck fighting Tito a couple of years ago. Yeah, when they when they didn't even they fought in like some weird promotion. Yeah. It was called like bronze bronze some trunks stupid fighting bullshit. championship. <laughs> Gold, Golden Boy was it Golden yeah, Boy? Yeah, uh, might have been Golden Boy. Yeah, it was because they had like boxing matches in the yeah. prelims. <clears throat> They're like, we don't know what we're doing, but we do know that this is Chuck Liddell and that <laughs> is Tito Ortiz. So we'll put them in the same th- in the same room here. Yeah, Golden Boy happens. Promotions. How did I know that? Why did I know that? It was some boxer, right? <laughs> uh, somebody, somebody. Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think um, I'm really excited for John Jones in heavyweight, and I really hope he wins. But I would not be surprised if he gets destroyed by the first person he fights. I would not be surprised at all. He, I don't think he's ever fought anybody that's going to hit as hard as one of those heavyweight guys. Oh, for sure not. That's the thing. You can't dodge strikes forever. I mean, even Stipe gets hit. And he's the best. Uh, he's the best UFC heavyweight ever. And he's the champion right now. Mm, unless you're Floyd Mayweather. And then you just go, oh, you're throwing a punch? And then you just... <laughs> you're, you're, unless you're Floyd Mayweather and just like, oh, you're going to Aruba? Uh, no, I'll you're buy not. all those. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> How how pissed would you be at Christian though, if you wanted to rent out the whole thing and then Christian just goes, and, <laughs> "I'm here though." <laughs> no, it'd be even funnier if like so Floyd was like flying people out or they were taking boats or whatever. It'd be funnier if those people couldn't make it and he had to hang out with Christian. Though. It was like a fire fest situation, <laughs> but Christian's the only guy there. <laughs> He's just like, do you play guitar? <laughs> Floyd's like, fuck yeah, I do. Starts fucking lighting it up, setting his, his hands are on fire and shit. He has boxing gloves on and he's still playing. He's still shredding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I only play with boxing gloves on. Tapes his hands up completely. <clears throat> oh, man. It's like fucking, dude, MMA gloves. And they were talking about this on Rogan, like how MMA gloves are shit. Like the ones that the UFC uses. And, like, there's way better designs out there, but, like, the, there's a licensing deal that the UFC has so that they just won't change anything. Because peop, their hands, mm. the thing about mm. the gloves now is you can do this way too easy. Yeah. And, like, there's gloves that are built to, like, where your hand is naturally like this. So you're basically already making a fist. And you can still grapple with them. You, I have a pair of grappling gloves that are basically what they should be using because they hold your hand this way. They're they're built for that. And they're not heavily padded. They're 
they're probably less padded than what an official UFC glove is, but you just add some padding to it really. And then all of a sudden it's basically a UFC glove with less eye pokes because that's a big problem right now because it stops the action. And if you get poked in the eye too many times, you end up like Michael Bisping and you're fucking, but Bisping, I mean, he really just got it from getting hit too many times. Right. He can't see out. I think it's his left eye or something like that. I thought they fixed it. <clears throat> They no, he pretty much is blind. Like they still? made it look like he has an eye. Uh, <laughs> is basically what happened. Bisping will always be in my um my my top favorite fighters just because of how he beat Rockhold and then also how when he fought St. Pierre, he didn't tap. Mm -hmm. For some reason, the loss of consciousness uh makes me appreciate him more. Even though I didn't give a fuck about him his entire career until the end. Yeah. Well, who was his last fight? Was it Machida? Was the last person he fought? He got his ass well, kicked. It was St. Pierre, technically, right? Or, well, no. He maybe had one not. fight he after, after that, yeah. Because um, I forget how long ago that was. That was already like three or four years ago. St. Pierre. It probably was 16 or 17. 17, maybe? Yeah, his last fight, he got his ass kicked. Oh, he he lost to Kelvin Gastelum. Mm. And yeah, it was uh, November 2017. He fought Kelvin Gastelum on three weeks notice. Yeah, that's... Uh, at that stage, you probably don't want to do that. No. I was thinking of Chael Sonnen. His last fight, he got his ass kicked. But by sometimes when guys Machida. lose, though, they, they want to just get back in quick. Yeah. And, I don't know, get back in the win column. And it's like, it's not really how you do it. Like, I don't know. I love so I don't I don't I still refuse to get UFC four because it's dog shit. <clears throat> don't get it, yeah. Um, I do have it, but it's fucking. I don't play it because it's bad. Yeah, but uh, I play UFC three still, and it's hilarious because um, whoever's the champion when you start your career, nine times out of ten they're still champion after like five years in game. Yeah, they just don't have any fights. Yeah, and apparently. it's hilarious when like you play like a middleweight fighter, and Bisping has been champion for like <laughs> seven years. Yeah, and has never lost. He's just been sidelined. Yeah, he's like I've just been kind of chilling. It's like he's know? his record's like twenty one and five. Meanwhile, there's no interim champion. Nope. And I hate that you. Have it's to, like you it's have like have to move up. That's what I hate is you have to move up. You can't just sit in your. Yeah, division. that's true. It's kind of like in WWE where, like, they give Lesnar the belt, and then he just goes, I'm taking seven months off. And then people go, what? There's still a, un there's still a, a universal champion? Yeah. <laughs> like, you forget that there's even a belt? The Miz <laughs> is the champion now, right? Is he? I have no idea. He could be. He uh, cashed in after the Royal Rumble fight. Mm. I haven't really watched. I watched the Men's Royal Rumble. Edge won that, and I yep. missed it. I forgot that it was on. Yeah, he was the first entrance, too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it was interesting. I don't know. It's like they... You almost like... I don't like it when they do that. The first entry wins. And they make it too common for that to happen. Maybe have it happen once. Like once every 15 years. Yeah, like, fuck. Like, with the number of people with fucking 29 other guys being in the ring, chances are you're not. Who were like the big Make surprises? Make it believable is all. Who were, who were like who was like the biggest pop? The only guy that I saw that that came in uh, that people were shocked by was Christian, but that was obviously going to happen. Yeah, I can't remember. There was a couple of surprise entrances, but nothing like uh, nothing super, crazy, super super wild. It's like I kind of wish that Eugene would just come back, but it just isn't going to happen. The Rock! The Triple Rock. H! <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's that's a tough character. Well, it is. Um, oh, it's, How oh, long it's 2026. <laughs> yeah, it's 2026. How mm. long uh, have we been going? As long as you think we've been going. How long do you think we've been going? About two hours and six minutes. Two hours and six minutes. Maybe uh, just under two hours. So from like 155 to 205. Yeah. Been about an hour and 50. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So we're back. It's pretty good. We're, we're sort of back, I guess. You know, we'll, yeah. get, we'll get in the swing of things. We're going to get a couple guests. We're going to get a couple repeat guests that we haven't been on in a long time. Yeah, um, we're, even gonna do, we're even going to do a fish center thing, right? 
we're gonna get a fish tank. There's, yeah, there's one over there. I'm gonna fill it up with some cool fish, and then we'll just get a green fill bird. it with shrimp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> snails or some weird shit. And then we'll just have a camera on the fish tank. We'll have a fish cam. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, instead of watching us, you can just watch the fish tank. We'll we'll do a, yeah. a, a us version and then a fish tank version. Yeah, we'll do one where it looks like the fish are talking. You know what I mean? <laughs> we just give the fish subtitles. Fish cast. Like a. It's kind of. It's basically a fish center. Yeah, we're stealing. We the should idea. just do fish center. We're stealing the idea. <clears throat> yeah. So pretty solid. Uh, there was nothing else. I didn't have any topics. I was just going to shoot the shit. Uh, we brushed on video games and I think my thing about video games that I was going to mention was that there aren't any games that have been announced for this year that I'm really like, yeah, there's nothing really interesting. Hitman looks kind of cool. I do want to get the remaster of the Prince of Persia Sands of Time. Yep. And then there's one, I kind of want to check out Far Cry 6. Word. I want to get Hitman 3 eventually. Uh, Resident Evil 8 comes out. Uh, that's about it. Like, I yeah, can't... Like, um, I'm still just playing sports games and playing Final Fantasy. So, yeah. like, that's it for me. Yeah. I've been playing a little bit of Valhalla and then um, Madden and the show, basically. I know. I'm ready for the show I to mean, come I mean, I've been playing... I'm mixing some Halo. I, I am ready for the show to come out because I'm prepared to just waste so much time playing the show. I can't wait. I haven't played MLB The Show since 09. That's the last one that I got. The one where the Yankees won the... The one that came out the year after the Yankees won the World Series. Oh, yeah. That would have been... 09. Because I think they're not like Madden. They released the year. It's the same year. Yeah, so... Yes, because 21 is coming out. Yeah, so I think it was 09. And they release it, like, right during spring training, basically. Yeah, so it would have been not the one where they won it. It was the it was the one that came out the year they won it, not the year after or whatever. Because yeah. I remember you could update the roster and just be ridiculous with New York and Boston. But now yeah. Boston, the Dodgers are... are well, what's cool is 21 is going to have a create a stadium, too. That's sick. I mean, and, uh, can you do, like, can you create a roster and then play league, like your franchise, with a created roster? That's all I need to know. Because that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put me you and you, import, and I'm going to put a bunch of yeah, clear you could, shots. you could import rosters. I'm going to put a bunch of clear shots alum, nigh, in the show. I'll put you on the Angels. I'll put me on the Yanks. And everywhere, everybody else can just play for the Brewers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just—I haven't rosters. played like a real baseball game in so long. Super Mega Baseball One was sick. Well, they also have a relocation too now, so they'll have like so you can take a team to like Ireland, move it, and you can do the full um, team editor too, which is so cool. But you can do all the uniforms, uh, logos. You can edit your logos, download community logos and shit. Make the Seattle Supersonics. Yeah, or the... Or, well, they already have the Mariners. Well, they still need a baseball team in Seattle. Or the KFCs. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, Ken- the Kentucky Fried Chickens. <laughs> yep. Yep. Kentucky. Or like the, just the Kentucky Colonels. That'd be cool. But you, do, you spell it like Colonel, like a corn kernel. <laughs> wow. Everyone just looks like corn shucks. <laughs> Yeah, it's not actually a KFC team like, at like all. The torso, like the torso of the uniform is like a V-neck with yellow. And then the rest of you is green, and then your hat is bright yellow. I'm going to make a uniform that's all, like, it looks like a NASCAR suit, and it's just got sponsors all over it and shit. Yeah, and it's just different corn brands. This is yeah. Green Giant. It's like all fast food brands. No, that'd be sweet. I'll do, um, I'll relocate uh, a team to Oswego, and I'll create the uh, the Oswego Buccaneers, and I'll sign Tom Brady, <laughs> and then Dama can sue. <laughs> yeah. I want to get Michael Jordan. Oh, wait. Uh, I mentioned Vincent Jackson. Did you know that he got he died? Huh? The wide receiver that played for Tampa Bay and uh, the Chargers. Did you know that he died? He did? Yeah, and so did Louis Nix. Remember Louis Nix, the defensive tackle for Notre Dame? He was found shot. He was shot in the chest, and they found his car submerged in a pond. Why? Uh, somebody tried killing him a few weeks oh, ago. Oh, Tiger Woods also. He got in a oh, car crash. Oh, he, he's fine, right? He's he right. got a, they, he had a I saw he had a compound fracture in his femur and they had to put a a rod in his leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck golfing, bro. Yeah. yeah. Good luck golfing. <laughs> it's tough to golf when you don't have It's uh, crazy that like he did all he did all those things that he did from like 2000 or from like 19, 1996 to like 2000 
eight. And then he doesn't do anything after that. Yeah, like injuries 15 and stuff. years, and then he's like, I win again. Yep, and then he just wins the Masters again. That was just awesome. I'll never forget that day. That was a great day. He's going to have to when do he won the Masters a, again. He, a, if he wins it again, I'm going to fucking... He's going to have to do it with a rod in his leg. Bust. <laughs> he uses the leg to hit the ball. Oh, yeah, so yeah, speaking well. of golf, and I, I don't know if Graham is going to listen to this, but Graham wants to come back. You mean um, golf? But we were playing GTA Online, and we're sitting there, we're bored. He's like, hey, let's uh, play golf. And I'm like, I've never played golf on GTA and it literally works just oh, yeah, like yeah, you can do that. It works just like the old Tiger Woods games. It works pretty well. Well, let's just say I'm not good at either. And uh, the game started off. I wonder if I uploaded it. The physics aren't great, but you know, it works. Well, I lost. I had like I was like plus eleven over par, and Graham was plus one over par. So I guess the two K golf games are not bad. Yeah. Well, it's um I've. I played last year's version. Before it was a 2K game, it was just the golf club. Tiger Woods. Oh, PGA Tour they used to do too. It was the golf club PGA Tour 2019. I still play that. It's pretty wild because you can create your own courses. Oh, Any courses that that are in the thing. So you can play, not not last year's, but I think the very first one, somebody had uh, Battle Island (laughs) in the game. That's super badass. Yeah, which is sick. Um, And then I think one of them... They had the country club, but it was only like the front nine. It wasn't the whole course. But yeah, I remember playing the the very first golf club game, and they had uh, Battle Island, which was pretty wild. Yeah, that's pretty sick. That's what you want, dude. You want to let the community do it for you. Yeah, exactly. Well, and that's uh, yeah. That's what Skater XL is doing. That game has got like nothing, basically. Is it and getting then- better, or no? Not really. PC versions. Pretty Didn't they good, say they're making a skate four? They're also bringing back college football games, mm-hmm. and apparently Notre Dame is backing out already. They have to make a deal with the players' association of some sort. Yeah. Like a like a they'd have to make some sort of deal with the NCAA. But it's like if you're going to make a game of these people, they deserve money, right? So pay them. It's not that difficult. Just. Pay, pay them though. That's the thing is, if you're gonna use their likeness, give them a cut. Yeah, even if it's like, because you can't just make it look like them and have their number be the same and everything, and be like, it's not really them though. Right. Because it is, and we all know it is. <laughs> anyway, um, that was it. That's all I had. As far as uh, brainstorming rapid topics at the end. There we go. Rapid fire. Da, 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 da. We didn't even do a uh, food or object. <laughs> we haven't done that in a long time. We haven't. But that's old school stuff. That was that was before um, uh, uh, tear jerkers. That was pre tear jerkers. Pre TJ. But it was P300. Yeah. I don't even know where those are. I got some though. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Don't see it. Don't see it. I have to search my notes, I guess. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. So uh we'll just we'll, we'll just do one or two. Alright, how about omelets? Versus door locks. Door locks. Yeah, I would say probably door locks. Omelets mm-hmm. are good, though. I do like omelets. But the pro- problem is you wouldn't have very much security. You know what I mean? It's like having open borders, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's in favor of open borders, you just go, but you lock your doors, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you got to end because I, I have to poop. Well, all right. Well, yeah, how about more? cheese balls versus tray tables? Like Utz cheese balls? Like, you know, like the... Planner's cheese balls? Sure, yeah. Give me tray tables. Balls. Just tray tables? Yeah. I don't use tray tables too much. You have, have four some. sitting right there. Yeah, but that's just in case. Those are backups. I like cheese balls, you dude. Have four Fuck. of them right there. I don't see any cheese balls in your, cheese balls in your either. apartment, but I see four tray tables, so something's fishy. Yeah, you're right. I guess I'll just say tray tables on that basic principle. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
Uh, if you say cheese balls, you're being paid by somebody to say that. It's obviously. the corporations. <laughs> the corporations. And the black helicopters. <laughs> and the uh, frogs are gay. And George Soros. All right. So we're back, guys. It's good to be back. <laughs> um, I really have to poop, so. Goodbye. All right. We'll see you next week or whenever. <laughs> whenever. Maybe three months from now. I don't know. Maybe a couple weeks. Probably a couple weeks. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for listening. Uh, ClearShotsPodcast.com for all the cool shit. And um, we'll talk to you soon. ClearShotsPodcast.com is where you'll find links to everything we do. You can check us out on Twitter at ClearShotsPod. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And check us out on Periscope for live videos. If you have anything you want to ask us, send us an email at ClearShotsPodcast at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. We will see you next time.